Hey guys, it's Simon. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm just going to take you for a quick tour of my ThinkPad X1 carbon machine. It's a first gen machine that I bought on eBay almost a year ago and I bought it with the intention of just tinkering around with Linux on it. So that's pretty much what it's been doing. When I first got it, I installed Ubuntu 20.04 because it had just come out at the time and I've had no problems running it on here. It ran like a dream, honestly, but with the start of a new year, I decided that I would give Elementary OS a try and see how that ran natively on this machine. I'm no stranger to Elementary OS. I've run it in a virtualized environment for quite a while and really, really love it. I just love the whole aesthetic of it and being primarily a Mac user on my main system, uh, the transition between that and this is really, for me, quite seamless the experience is very very similar without further ado i'm just gonna talk you through how i've got this set up and what i've got on here this is a fresh install so there's not too much going on on here as you can see i've got the terminal going at the moment i've got a epy top installed on there i did a little funny video on this recently where i installed this on my mac i love this as a, a top client i think it's really really smart and just love how the text fades out when you get to the bottom here i don't know it just it just looks really really cool and uh, i love it and I, I have a couple of friends that use this as well and they run it on, like on their raspberry pies and that kind of stuff and they they love it too so let's take a quick look at what i've got on here got the regular files app and multitasking view uh, i'm running the chromium web browser i am pretty well tied into the google ecosystem i use google for pretty much everything so i have chromium on here and of course i have that synced to my google account as i do with all of my devices i'm fairly active on discord so i have discord on here as well just so i can get on there if i need to if i have this machine with me go for it is a to-do list manager and i absolutely love this uh, i was using this quite a bit in my virtualized environment and uh, i just love how simple this thing is you know it's just i love that it as dark mode as well but it's just it's so simple and straightforward to enter and manage your tasks and, and then just sort of tick them off as you go and even as this really awesome timer feature in here which is great you know if you are working on a long task and uh, you want to remind yourself to have a break or if there's anything you know kind of time sensitive or anything like that so yeah this app is really cool it is available in the uh, app center and it's definitely one of my favorites just because it is so simple and so sleek uh calendar i don't really have anything in as you can see i've got mirc here that is my preferred irc client of choice to run this i have wine installed of course so i'll just load that up and show you that running i'll show you it connecting i'll just hook up to freenode really quick so as you can see there's me just hanging out in the ubuntu channel on freenode so we'll minimize that a vlc media player that is my uh, media player of choice and we've got settings terminal which as you can see is already open i do like my terminal apps and of course you've got the app center and you've got the trash then to capture the screen i'm using this one from the app center which is called screen rec believe it's a dollar i might well buy it i think it's well worth a dollar because it is really simple and straightforward to use and uh, it's just just what i need i'm using it obviously to capture my desktop as i said uh, it is capturing audio as well but i'm actually using my main system to capture the audio that i will be using in the video just because uh, i can process it a lot better and i'm able to use my actual good quality condenser mic setup and all that kind of thing so it's just easier for me to capture the audio on there then obviously i can just capture the desktop on here and then i can just move the file over to my main system so that's pretty much it. That's all I've got going on on here at the moment. I'm hoping to dive a little bit more into some App Center apps and just see what is out there and uh, just have fun trying some stuff out. And anything I think is cool, I will likely make a little video demonstration on. I hope you enjoyed uh, this quick little look into this system. Take care. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.